What? Are we filming? <laughs> Are we recording? <sighs> between the lines, between the covers of a book, it's time to look between the lines. You can, you can thank Danny for that. <laughs> she and I just spent a few hours getting ready together and we were both singing Nickelodeon. Of course, that's not Nickelodeon. That's Between the Lions. L-I-O-N-S. So good. If you have kids, or if you teach reading, find them on YouTube. So good. Hi everyone, it's Misty here. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I have my April update for Pin Those Eyeshadows. This was a project started by Alexi, who is linked down below. I honestly think this may be the largest painting project on the internet. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but there are a lot of people who do pan those eyeshadows. So if you ever need something to binge watch, just click the hashtag and you will find hundreds upon hundreds of videos of just pan those eyeshadows. And in fact, I've been going back and watching old pan those eyeshadows. Um, I just finished, I think, Andrea's first year because um, I like to have it on in the background. So for my project, I'm actually working with the prompts that Lainey from Makeup with Lainey created. She's listed down below along with Ruth because Ruth is the one that reminded me that Lainey had did prompts or she filmed a video and it reminded me that Lainey did prompts and then I went and looked at Lainey's prompts and I'm like, yes, this is the way I want to do this. Um, I can't, if I allowed fate, <laughs> If I allowed the eyeshadow gods to pick my eyeshadows, this would not be a successful project for me. So being able to pick my own shadows using prompts has been working out really, really well. And you'll know that because I'm rolling out two um, shadows today. But first, but first, let's talk about the one that I'm rolling out just because it S-U-C-K-S. So this is the Sydney Grace and Tim Talia Radiant Reflection. This was their collaboration. And I had the prompt Q, I mean, not Q, U, something with the letter U. So I brought in this shadow right here. Um, as I just put lotion on, Misty, what, are, what is your damage sometimes? I don't even know. Um, so I... I struggled with this shadow so my rules are 25 uses or pan I didn't give myself any vetoes because honestly if something sucks I'm gonna roll it out <laughs> I'm not gonna try to veto myself so this is what um, this is what this sh the shadow looks like it's really pretty it swatches patchy it goes on the eye patchy. Um, I haven't tried any of the other mattes in this palette and I haven't tried any other mattes from Sydney Grace. I know that a lot of people that I respect their opinion and you know value their opinion love the formula. With that one I wasn't impressed. Um, I don't know if I'll insert the footage but I literally filmed a rant video <laughs> because I had tried everything. I probably tried six or seven ways to make this eyeshadow work and I just couldn't do it. So it was like I'd rolled in six anyway and we're gonna have to go back down because I am literally painting 70 eyeshadows. So we're gonna go back down to five. This is gonna go back into the collection. If I get a different letter, maybe I'll try a different matte or maybe I'll try a shimmer, but that matte was really disappointing. So this is going back in the drawer. Okay. So I have a five other, <laughs> five other ones to um, update you on. So I'll insert video footage and I'll insert pictures. I don't ha like I haven't been doing comparisons because I'm a bad YouTuber of the year. But if I can remember, I will try to make a collage um, with all of the pictures, and you can see it that way. So the first was for the letter J. That's the prompt I rolled. And that was um, this. This is the Glam Light Jelly. This is depotted from their donut palette. Again, 25 uses or hit pan. I am at 22 uses with this as of today. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll this out of the project and roll something else in, but this is gonna go back into the palette until I get my 25th use. And honestly, I may continue using this for the entire month of April. I am doing 50, not 50, whew, no, 30 days of purple. 
I am somewhat behind that I have been using every time you see me have some kind of pink either on the lower lash line or like in my crease it's been that jelly shadow so it's never gonna have pen but it's gonna like I said I'm gonna use it until I'm not using it anymore and maybe I will have pen. maybe I'll keep tracking usage but for this project he's gone the next shadow that's been in here for a while is this this is this um color pop so that's so taupe that's taupe that's so taupe and i have been working on the shade slated for the a prompt that starts with a letter s um i have only used this nine times so i really after this month is over i really need to um i'm gonna go ahead i'm not gonna swatch that one i'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one since it's staying in the project. It's really pretty. It's a beautiful topper shade. Um, I just, <sighs> I need to do some neutral looks. I've topped this over a colorful shadow and the problem is it kind of dulls it down a little bit, but I think if I work on a couple of neutral looks and I need to, um, then I'll be able to get some more use out of it. But this one's probably gonna be in here at least one more month. Um, we'll see after that. So a nine uses on that. The next one is this. This is the Nomad Tokyo palette for the prompt, a yellow shadow shimmer. I think that's what it was. I'd already deleted the prompt, so I don't remember. But I hit pan, and I don't know if you guys, oh, where, where? I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Again, I'll insert a picture. Um, I hit pan doing the eye look that was, I put it in the inner corner and that's how I hit pan. And I'll try to remember to flash up that look. I thought that look was so much fun. This one and the one from yesterday or the last one may be my favorite looks I've ever done. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, so this is rolling out. After that, I rolled in the Tammy um, Tropical Twilight palette for, I needed a shadow that started with a little letter T. I forgot to mention, I am working on mostly mattes because I am painting mostly shimmers. In Zodiac Painter, I have 12 shimmers. In um, Beauty A to Z, I had 26 shimmers and glitters. Uh, I'm working on a couple of shimmers in the um, Project Level Up. I just wrote a shimmer, a couple of shimmers, into another project. I have 10 eyeshadows starting on a project soon. I'm working on a lot of shimmers, so I'm trying to roll in mattes in this project. So I rolled in this. This um, is a purple for the letter T. Again, I'll insert some up close footage. I have used this um, two times since the last update. It is in my crease and on my lower lip. No, 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 no. That was a different shadow. I've been using this in my crease on my lower lash line. I'll, pow, I'll, I'll post, I'll throw up a picture or two of what looks I've done using these um, shadows. But um, it's not my favorite matte formula. It's not bad, it's not bad. But if I don't hit pan by the 25th use, um, or yeah, I'll roll that out and I'm gonna go ahead and pass that along to Project Beauty Share. Just because again, it's not a bad palette. Misty, let's watch it, what are we doing? It's not a bad palette, but I just have, you guys, I have like a hundred and no. Yeah, I have over a hundred palettes. Uh, I just bought some more singles because I, clearly I needed more eyeshadow. This, see, I mean, it just is not as vibrant as it is in the pan. You can build it up, but again, it's just like, I just have too many eyeshadows to keep something in my collection that I, I know somebody else can get some good use out of. So this is going to Project Beauty Share. And then last but not least, I rolled in the Glam Light Dirty Martini palette. I believe this was the sixth shadow from the last update. I rolled in the color Classic right here. This one is deceiving because in the pan, it looks like it might be muted, kind of ashy, kind of blown out but it is the most beautiful turquoise or aqua color ever. Um, when you've seen me do an aqua look, this has been the matte. It's just so, so, so pretty. I have used this seven times since the last update. It'll probably get a couple more uses um, because I love mixing aqua and purple together. <laughs> 
I really need to throw up a picture of my craft room and I really need to throw up a picture of our master bedroom. Maybe I've done it, but yeah, I decorate a lot with purple and aqua. I like them together. Add coral, perfect. Okay, so those are the three that are staying in and we are going to be drawing from Lainey's prompts. So I think I have 81. She initially um, had, uh, what's where I'm looking for? She had a hundred, but she repeated some of the ones that she wanted to use more than once. And so I went ahead and made my list just with, without the ones that were repeating because I want to be able to use all of the prompts and then I'll repeat if I want to. So I will have a link to her original spreadsheet, her introduction, and I believe my amended spreadsheet. And she may have also amended her spreadsheet. I honestly can't remember. Anyway, we're gonna pick two numbers. So my numbers are one through 81. There are three. So if I pick any of these three, I will skip it. 29 75 <laughs> Okay. So the first one is significant other picks and Rob is working and I, I don't want to disturb him. And the other one is a purple shimmer and I am already working on five purple shimmers. So we're going to re-row. So let's row for two. Wait, what are we doing? <laughs> Hold on. Let me clear history. Clear the history. Okay, here we go. 28. Ooh, okay. 15. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay. So which one did I have first? God dang it. Why, is, why do I have the worst memory of all people in my life? Number 28 is a duochrome. That sounds fun. Um, especially since there are a lot. And then the second one was number 15, which is something I want to pan. So give me one second and I will be right back. <laughs> yeah. So um, I am gonna go, uh oh. This shirt, I can't button it. I told Rob, I was like, I need one of those button hook things because I just can't button it. You know what? Y'all just have to see some skin. We all friends around here. <laughs> okay. So for number 15, something you want to pan. As I mentioned, I'm really trying my hardest to work on mats in this project. So I, unless I get a shimmer uh, prompt. So I'm going to bring in another shade in my Clam Light, um, what is this called? Red Velvet Cupcake. I've already hit pan in this one. I'm working to hit pan in this one. So I'm going to choose this shade. This is Confection. And this is basically what I was hoping that Sydney Gray shadow would be. It's not that different. Well, it's not that different from Twilight, but Twilight... Um, is a bit deeper, just a little bit. So again, my goal for this is to hit pan or 25 uses. I haven't hit pan in a mat yet from Glam Glow, so we'll see. Glam Glow? Yeah, Glam, Glam Light. <laughs> Glam, Glam Light, give me glow, JD Glow. I cannot keep up with all the glows, y'all. I cannot do it. Okay, and then for a duochrome shadow, I think this is technically a multi-chrome, but I don't know. I'm bringing in this. This is one of my new lethal shades. This is in Proxima, Proxima. God. Oh my God. It's so pretty. So maybe it's a multi, but it, there's pink, there's like orange, <laughs> there's yellow. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Um, I don't know. I don't think my goal is going to be to hit pan. I think I want to just, well, shit, Misty. You know what? We're going to do it. 25 uses or pan. Whichever one comes first, that is going to go 
into my palette. And that's it. So these, <laughs> look, it's the exact same color story. So we have a slated from That's Taupe. I've used nine times. It needs, what is that? I don't know, to 25. Twilight, we've used um, seven times. <laughs> and this one, we've also, this is um, classic from the Dirty Martini palette. We've also used seven times. And then these are rolling in brand new. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate you. Please let me know down below how you're doing, if you're doing this project, if you decided to go with Lainey's prompts, which I think are just so brilliant. Like I, like I didn't even last this long. I've been doing this now for four months. So I didn't even last this long the last time I tried to do those eyeshadows. So this is working out well. I mean, hopefully by the end of the year, I'll have a pan in almost every shade in this Glam Light palette. Um, and I'm, you know, I just want to make sure that my um, singles and my palettes are getting use. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a good day, night, weekend, wherever you are. Don't, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I love your faces and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now. <laughs> This is a pretty shadow, Misty. You did a good job. You did a good job picking such a pretty shadow. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this. I mean, look at it. Look at this palette. <sighs> so good.